open some shoes, which you see here. Now this is a new pair of shoes for me. Um, they are Nikes. I actually can't remember exactly what they were because I bought them really late at night. Um, but we are going to look at the maths of the shoes because we're just going to investigate the shoes. If we can, might need to find a, a ruler. Um, we're going to measure them, look at them, and just talk about the mass of the shoes, yeah, just for fun, and see what we can find. Okay, so here we go. You can grab the ruler, there, if you can find one. Oh, like a measure tape? That'll do. Perfect. So, here we go. A helpful pair of scissors. Okay, here we go. So, <clears throat> the famous swoosh. Ever since I read the biography of Phil Knight, I kind of wanted to get Nikes. I've got Nikes. Yeah, you do. I bought you all Nikes, but I never bought myself Nikes. So, the, what we're dealing with here is the Nike Pegasus Trail 5 GTX. And um, they're a size US 10, UK 9, that's my size. Euro 44, I'm normally Euro 43, but um, when I bought the source and E43s, they're too small. So, here we go. Let me get rid of this one over there. Just put it over there so it's not blocking. Alright, here we go. So, here's the unboxing. Um, so, there we go. What does it say up there? Warn to be wild. Warn to be wild. Warn to be wild. Alright, here we go. So let's get them out. Look at these. Whoa! Oh, look at that. Those are nice. Okay, I let's want to get hold them out. Alright, you hold Daddy, them. Daddy, have one. you felt this one? This piece. <clears throat> um, these are nice. I know. My only reservation was that they were kind of white, which of course means that. Mud. Mud. They're going to get kind of ruined fast. And of course, what really matters is how comfortable they are. But they have to say, they do look nice. I'm going to try them on. No, 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 mm -hmm. try them on. Um, they do look nice. And I have to say, at first glance, I prefer them to the saucony ones. Yeah. Those were green. No, yeah, they were green, weren't they? They were green. They're, they're they a bit were... green. Although, when I got them, you said you liked them. I don't remember. I said I liked them for them. I'm telling pork pies. I'm not telling pork pies. All right, here we go. Nike React X foam is engineered to reduce its carbon footprint in a pair of midsoles by at least 43% due to reduced manufacturing process. Now, first little bit of math. 43. What kind of number is that? Um, uh, it's a. It's not in any multiplication. Good, which means it's a. A prime. Yeah, it's a prime. Yeah, 43 is a prime number. Very good. Um and. You know the way that you went to to see that is not in any times tables perfect. That's a great way of doing it. Um, okay, now what else can we glean from there from here? So, if we look at the oh look, it's pink. That's nice, isn't it? I like pink. Um, okay, there we go. I like these. It looks like a nose. Like they wore for the plague. <laughs> that, that <was. laughs> um, yeah, it's true. And what year was the plague? I think it was around 30, 12, 10. No. 15. No. When? 1666. <sighs> 10 years before, it was Battle of Hastings, 1066. Abba. Yes. 1666. Yeah. Oh, six. 600, 600 years before 600 years. the Battle of Tastings. Alright, so let's take a look at these then. So these are the cardboard inners. Let's see, first of all, how long they are. So okay. if we take the tape measure and put it on there, they are, ooh, look at that, exactly 16. Six. 16. Look, because it's 10 then 6, so they're exactly 16 centimetres long. Hmm. Now, um, what's special about the number 16? Four times four is sixteen. So what which type of makes number it is sixteen? Key... No, no, no. Square, square. A square. Yeah. Okay, good. And why do we call square numbers square numbers? Well, a square number is when the same number times by itself equals that number. Like six times six um, is thirty-six, mm. and that also makes it 
True, but why do we call them squares? Why, is they, why are they given the name squares? Well, well, squares are all exactly the same. All the sides are the same length. Mm. So four is same as four. Yeah, which means that the area of a square which has sides length four is 16. Yeah. And thus 16 is a square number because it's the area of a square when the side of a square is an integer. Now, do you know what an integer is? No. I didn't either. I don't think I even knew it when I was 18. But <laughs> an integer means a whole number. Like, so not one and a half. One and a half is not an integer. <coughs> no spluttering. I thought it was like an integer in the table, like there was a gap in the table. No. So is 3.2 an integer? No. Good. What would you have to subtract from 3.2 to make it an integer? Point two. Very good, Ooh, my student. Okay, so we've seen that these shoes are 16, so they're a square number long. Wouldn't it be funny if they were a square number wide? Let's have a look. Oh, yeah. Because, of course, what we're getting here, which we otherwise would really struggle to measure, is what? Um, the tape? No, the, the inside dimensions, the interior oh, yeah, dimensions yeah. of the shoe. I mean... At least, like, we're understanding that from... Like, basically, the shoe, according to this, would be... 16. 16 is, like, halfway, right? Yeah. So, does that mean that the shoe total length is 32, 32 centimetres? centimetres? That's we'll, right we'll, now. We'll find out in a second. All right, so, let's measure the inside. Now, that one's a bit bent. And this one's bigger. <coughs> and you're spluttering all over the place. I'm sorry. No. <coughs> This one is, I mean, we could bend it in a bit, but that would be cheating. So it's not actually nine wide, but it's not far off. Mm. It's nearly a square number wide. So close, but it's not quite. Unless we just squeeze it a bit. Well, it is wide this time. There we go. <laughs> if I squeeze it slightly, it's a square number wide. Well, what okay, what's the square root of nine? Um, nine, eighty-one. No. Three, three, three. Good. Three. Now, here's an interesting question. Mm. If it's nine nine wide and sixteen long, what's nine times sixteen? Well, sixteen times ten is one sixty. Good. Take away sixty. Take away sixteen. Because you're doing ten lots of sixteen. Take away one lot of sixteen. Which would be. One, five, four. One. Do the ten. Do the one. One, four, four. What type of number is one, four, four? It's a normal palindrome. It's five times twelve. It's a square number. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> so, what we've discovered is that the cardboard insert to the Nike Trail ATCs is a square number. Great. Right? It's six to one is the sixteen long and nine wide. They're both squares. You know, with a little bit of a squeeze. So there we go. That's a pretty interesting thing to discover about a shoe. Yeah. I shall think about that one. I, I never thought it. Run along. Oh. Well, who who did? Okay, now let's take a look inside. So there's not really much we can see inside, but what we probably can see is the numbers on the label. So this is a US size ten. Is there anything special about the number 10? It's the first double digit. Indeed, it is the first double digit. Can you think of anything anything that we use 10 for in kind of everyday math that's, that's sort of a, use, it's a useful number for? Can you think of anything? Times power. Mm. I don't know, you're stumping me here. Okay. Well, remember that if we're... Um, if we're moving the decimal point, oh yeah! If we divide by ten, it moves one way, and if we times by ten, it moves the other way. And of course, the number ten gives us the decimal system, like right? the whole system that everyone in Europe uses. Everyone in in the U.S. still uses the imperial system, which is the system we used to have in England before we were kind of reverse colonized by the European Union. Um, at least in terms of our weights and measures. Now, whether or not that's a good thing, it's hard to say. Because there's no doubt that it's easier to work yeah. out that you know there's a hundred pence and a pound and you know and so on and so forth. But then the question is, 
is it ultimately good for us that things get easier? Well, like, kind of. Because if you, if you were studying for an 11 plus exam and you haven't studied this area of maths, if you did study it would become easier and you would get the questions right. Um, well, yeah. The thing I always like to come back to is, uh, you know, if you make things easier, it just simply means that someone's brain has to do less work. Now, mm -hmm. there's two ways of looking at that. On the one hand, someone whose brain has to do less work over a long period of time, what happens to their brain? It gets confuzzled. No, it gets confuzzled. Like, it gets like... It's really basically, it's like if, if I lifted... If I progress, li lifted progressively lighter weights, what would happen to my arm muscles? Well, they would just get weaker. Exactly, right? So by analogy, if your brain is required to do progressively easier things... It should be the other way around. Easy, 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 hard, 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 extreme, well, hard, extreme. Hard. You know, so, yes, if, if your goal is to make your brain stronger, then you wouldn't choose to do things that are easier. Hence, mm. like the dumbing down of weights and measures, which is effectively what the metric system is, could be said to be... You know, not beneficial to our brains. But if you are trying to do something complicated yeah. and you need all of your brain power to work it out, little things like metric or imperial may be getting in the way of your ability to see the bigger picture. Right? So you could also <laughs> argue that freeing up brain power by removing complexity from trivialities ultimately serves a bigger purpose, a bigger goal. Now, it's not really for us to decide which one of those is right, but it's an interesting question. Okay, so 10 is a, you know, an important number. Now, this in the UK is a size 9. What can we say about the number 9? Um, it's got um, a square root of 3. Very good, it's a square number again. It is prime. Well, it's not prime, no. but it is odd. True, it is odd. <clears throat> now, in European sizes, this is a 44. So, what can we say about a 44? Anything interesting about it's 44? It's palindromic. Very good, a palindromic number. Excellent. Um, what are the factors of 44? Um, you've got 11 times 4. Mm -hmm. um, Remember, always start with 1 when you're doing factors. So, 1 times... 1 times 44. 2. 2 times... No, yeah. 2 times... It's not 2 times 12. 2 times 22. Very good. Does 3 work? No. Does 4 work? Yes. And what is it? 4 times 11. Very good. Um, any other numbers that would work with 44? Ten, not 11. Yeah. And once we get a repeat, it doesn't count yeah. anymore. Okay, so 44, palindromic. Um, six factors. Can't think of anything else interesting about 44. Um, mm. Now... Yeah. Centimetres, 28. Anything interesting about 28? Well, 4 times 7 is 28. 4 times 7, yeah, okay, but it's just a it's kind of run-of-the-mill number. In Brazil, this would be a size 42. Anything oh. interesting about 42? Um, I don't think so. And in China, it would be a 280. All right, let's see. Now, if it's 28 centimetres and the Chinese call it a 280... What do we think the Chinese are measuring shoes in? Millimetres. Yes, well done, Bubba, very good. All right, then. It's made in Vietnam. Do you know what the capital of Vietnam is? Boston? Boston. <laughs> Boston is in it America. It was the first thing it, that okay, came into my head. The capital of Vietnam is Hanoi. Yeah, Hanoi. Um, it used to be called Ho Chi Minh City when Vietnam was communist. Vietnam has a pretty interesting history, which we won't go into now. Anyway... Our last act of this um, shoe unboxing, before we just do a final measurement of the length and the width, is going to be going to add up all of these sizes and see if we get anything interesting. So we've got, a, let's see, uh, let's start with the big number, 280. Mm -hmm. So let's take it in turns. I'm going to start. 280 plus 42 is 322. So you go 322 plus 28. 322 plus 28 is 35. Yeah, 350. Good. Yeah. 350 add 44, 394. You'll go. 394 add 9 mm -hmm. is 3... No. Uh, 4? Yeah. 304? 403. 403. All right. 
and then plus 10 is 413. Okay, let's do a quick check. Is 413 a prime? Uh, yes. How do we know? Well, if you add up, well, 4 and 1 is 5, mm -hmm. and 5 and 3 is 8, and 8. So it's not a multiple of 3, so it's not divisible yeah. by 3, but it doesn't mean there's definitely a prime. 4, 1, 3. Let's just quickly check. What goes in, if we split it, yeah, 413 into 40 and 13. So we can quickly say that, is it divisible by 2? No. Mm -mm. Which means it can't be divisible by any other evens. Yeah. All right. So is it divisible by 7? Right, so we know that 7 is going to 420. 7 is going to 420. Yeah. 420 minus 7 is? Um, four, four, uh, 80. 420, take six, away, six, 420, uh, take away 7. 420, take away 7. Mm -hmm. 430. It's divisible oh. by seven. It's not a prime. Okay. Well, there we go. Well, I actually didn't know that. Anything else interesting to say about it? Four one three. Mm. Is there any fascinating date in history in four thirteen? Well, what we can say is that the Roman Empire was um, pretty much about to collapse. Should we just quickly find out what happened in the date four thirteen? Oh yeah. I bet nothing interesting. Um, let's ask our friend Grok. He's an AI robot. He's not your friend. He's just a person who helps you in everyday life. Okay, but I pay him 30 quid a month and he does whatever I ask and tells me whatever I want to know. What friend would do the same? Um, <laughs> uh, an actual genius one. Is he better than... Is he, is he, is he my best friend? Mm. To do such work for such little reward? Um, right, what happened in the Why year... Why don't you just use microphone? Because I'm not accustomed to doing that. Mm. What, uh, in the year 413? 413 AD. Now, question for our audience. Mm. Should we redate? Right? Because right now it's saying AD, Anno Domini, the year of our Lord, right? It's a Christian date. Um, not going to get into whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. But it's certainly inaccurate. Okay, what about we do the dating from the beginning of time <laughs> using standard form? Hmm? It's like that's zero. It'd zero. be like 4.6 times 10 <laughs> to the whatever. <laughs> you mean to the power of 10 or something? Well, the yeah, power of like 367,500 million. But nevertheless, it would be good <coughs> to date it from the birth of our star. Can 